All right, so today I'm working on the disc brake conversion. Um, I finally found, or somebody finally started making a disc brake kit for the one ton trucks, including dual wheel truck, dual rear wheel trucks. I just finished this side, uh, kind of fumbled my way through it a little bit, made a couple little mistakes and had to undo some things. But I'll go over that as I do the other side and I'll lay out the steps. Not too hard. Um, I'm not gonna go through how to take off the old brakes, the original brakes. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be attempting a disc brake conversion anyway. Um, but here's the old brakes. Cool thing about the directions, it says you, know, you don't have to take them apart. Uh, just unbolt them and pull the whole back plate off and everything comes with it nice and neat. All you have to do is undo the brake line. And there you have it. You keep them intact in case you ever need to go back to the originals. Uh, and the other thing you need to do is you do reuse the hub. So there's the other side with the old drum. Uh, I took the bolts off. And uh, you know here's the original drum with the hub gone. And you can see here you reuse the hub. But it's a good kit. It's from TSM Manufacturing. Uh, this is not a paid or promotional video in any way. I'm just a customer. I ordered the kit and I've been doing these videos for other uh, type of rebuild things on these trucks. Not a lot of information out there about these brake conversions, so I figured I'd share. Uh, it comes with everything you need. Uh, calipers, rotors, pads, all the hardware. He, he includes all Really nice grade eight hardware. Gives you instructions on how to do it. And for the most part, it's just a bunch of brackets that kind of go in place of the old brakes and uh, line everything up for you. So next step for me is you gotta drive those bolts out to get the hub off. And what I did, because you can't really, you can't get a press in there. You know, these are, on there pretty good. You don't want to wail on the hub because you want to keep the hub. I would rather not destroy the drum. So what I was doing was I was putting this hammer on there and then hitting the back of it with a, a small uh, sledge and that freed them up and got them out. And once they're all out, it comes right off. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Okay, took the hub off. That wasn't too bad. Um, I'm going to clean this side up. Now's a good time if you need to do anything with your bearings. Well, you got it off. Replace your bearings if you need to. And then you're going to keep the uh, this plate that's on the inside. It's a little greasy. I think it's like a grease shield or something. But I'll stick that in the parts washer, clean it up. And I'll check out my bearings. I should be okay. Um, yeah, you can see those were kind of like wheel studs. You can see the... Uh, the knurls in there. Uh, what you get for replacement are just regular bolts. All right, on to the next step. <laughs> 